My name is Yatislav Melnik. I'm a head of uh, SPVDA Hub Kyiv, who provides humanitarian aid and, uh, and other services in, here in Kyiv and Kyiv region. SPVDA was launched by a uh, different uh, structure, governmental and uh, volunteering organization in Ukraine. It was uh, organized uh, from the 10th uh, day of the war on the base of uh, youth centers in Ukraine and uh, headquarters of the office of, of the president of Ukraine in collaboration with Ministry of Youth and Sport, uh, with uh, Ministry of Health in Ukraine, with Ministry of um, Development of Communities and Territories of Ukraine, uh, and also with uh, different structure, volunteer structure in Ukraine. The places like this, uh, where we are now located in Kyiv, here. Um, and uh, these hubs concentrate the people who want to provide this help. Why it was chosen? Because before the war, these uh, places was collecting the people who trying to improve their life in Ukraine, to, to some activists, some uh, NGO who provide something new to this country and to, trying to, to make it better. Uh, and uh, a lot of uh, youth centers become the hub of SPVD. Food, uh, water, hygiene stuff, clothes, and also we have another services. For example, psychological support, because uh, every hub uh, has their own uh, psychology specialist who work with the people who, who need it. almost every region of Ukraine. We have 23 hubs uh, in Ukraine. We have a hubs uh, near the front line, for example, in Kharkiv, in Dnipro, in Zaporizhia region, in uh, Mykolaiv, in Odessa also. So the places were really close to the front line. How do we deliver in the different regions? It could be different ways. In a few regions, we have a last mile delivering for example, as it was in Kyiv, uh, that we have uh, auto volunteers who have a list of people who, who need help and they <laughs> call them, they contact with them, they deliver them to their house, houses. So um, another option uh, is cooperation with uh, different volunteers who are trying to help it. For example, in McLeod, they have uh, they have interesting community of people who pro provide this help with a bicycle, just deliver by bicycle. And also we have a cooperation with uh, Nova Posta, so it was delivered by post. Uh, we deliver it directly to the home. Also we have a special point where the people uh, can come and take uh, the help. We do not have enough resources to, to cover all, the, all uh, the needs that people have now. Uh, we have a help from Germany, from Italy, from France, from Portugal, from Spain, United Kingdom, from Ireland, from Norway, from Denmark, uh, from Sweden, from Finland, from uh, Poland, because it's a nearest country, and also from France. Uh, we have maybe the biggest part of our hygiene staff from France. The huge part of uh, humanitarian aid that we have uh, here in in Ukraine, in the different hubs, we have to, through the uh, Help Ukraine Center in uh, Poland and Lublin. But uh, they are collecting humanitarian aid from different parts of Europe. I remember a very emotional, interesting moment. And at the one of the boxes, we found the paper uh, list uh, with um, kiss print, uh, with lipstick, yeah, uh, and dried rose with a a uh, very emotional list of uh, willing to Ukrainian people. Yeah. Unfortunately, we do not have enough uh, contact of the people who send it, because I'd want to call everyone and say just thank you for their help to us.